Spawners. You've probably ran into one before. A naturally occurring block in Minecraft that can spawn mobs. And here's all you need to know about them. This is a follow-up to my last video explaining natural hostile mob spawning, so if you haven't watched it already, go watch that video after this one. There are exactly 7 types of spawners that can spawn in a Minecraft world. The zombie, skeleton, and spider spawners can be found in overworld dungeons. Cave spiders spawn in mine shafts. Silverfish spawners spawn in the stronghold. Blazes spawn in nether fortresses and magma cubes in bastions. Spawners activate when there is a player within a 16 block radius of the spawner. When activated, a spawner can spawn up to 4 mobs every 10 to 40 seconds in its spawn area. The type of spawner determines the spawner's spawn area. More specifically, the vertical spawn area. One block tall mobs like the spiders have a one block tall spawn area, while two tall mobs has a two block tall area, and three tall mobs get three blocks vertically. Horizontally, the spawn area of a spawner is four blocks in all directions. Unlike a naturally spawning mob, mobs spawning from a spawner does not need a solid block to spawn. But like naturally spawning mobs, the light level in the spawn area must follow each mob's spawn requirements. For example, the overworld mobs like zombies, skeletons, and spiders need a light level of 0, while blazes need at least light level 11 or below. A spawner will no longer spawn any mobs if there are 6 or more mobs in its 9x9 area. That is why you should move mobs as fast as possible out of its 9x9 range. After that, the only limit is entity cramming, which is 25 mobs, or the mob cap, which is 70 mobs. In vanilla Minecraft, spawners cannot be picked up. Even with the silk touch enchantment, it can be broken, but the item will not drop. Lastly, spawners can be manipulated using spawn eggs. You can right click a spawner using any spawn egg to change the spawner into said mob. And that's it! I hope this was easy enough for you to understand, and I hope that you learned something new. If there's anything I missed or any questions, drop them down below in the comments. Peace!